Hi! Welcome to the tutorial on how to use Elemental Help Desk. Help Desk is so easy, even your grandma can use it. I'm Allison, and I'll be showing you how to use Help Desk. Let's begin. The account is divided into two sections, the Control Panel and the Application section. On the top of the screen are tabs that correspond with each action in Help Desk. Click on a tab to perform that particular action. As you can see, you have the option to create a new issue, view issue, display issue reports, and access the control panel. The control panel is where you set up the account. It can be accessed only by users that are part of the admin group. The application section consists of new issue, view issue, and display issue reports. Users of all groups can access the application portion of Help Desk by logging into their Elemental account. Let's start with the control panel. The green tab is the control panel. I'm going to go through a quick overview of the control panel with you, so click Control Panel. Here you will see Edit Accounts, Edit Issue Forms, Edit User Profile, Edit Email Settings, Edit Customer List, Edit Support Form, and Mass Update. The Edit Accounts section enables you to manage different administrative aspects of your account. It includes the following options, Manage Account Lists, Update Billing Info, Download Database, Empty Trash, Set Time Zone, and SMS Settings. I'll go through each option one by one. Let's start off with Manage Account Lists. This option allows you to add or remove services for each account. The Update Billing Information tab is just that. Here you can enter your billing information or change it. The Download Database option allows you to download the database into an Access file. It allows you to save a local backup of your account, export the data to external applications, and also run advanced queries on your issues. The next tab is Empty Trash. Here, you can delete issues that have trash status assigned to them. This is a perfect way to make room for new issues. Isn't that the whole point of emptying trash? So you could have new trash? The Set Time Zone tab is self-explanatory, right? You can set the time zone according to your geographical location. Lastly, the SMS setting allows you to add SMS notifications to your SMS bank by account. Later, you will be able to use this feature to send text notifications directly to your team members' mobile phones. Now that we have a feel for Edit Accounts, let's go back to the main control panel screen and click on Edit Issue Form. Here, you can customize the issue form to work exactly the way you prefer. You can customize the existing fields or create unlimited new fields. Let me show you how to do this. To add a new field, drag it from the toolbox on the left to the form. To edit a field, click on the Fields Edit button on the top corner. Here, you can change field caption, type, set field width, or create a value list. You can also delete a field by clicking on the Fields Delete button. Going back to the main screen on the control panel, the next icon is Edit User Profiles. This is where you can add users to the account. In order for people to have access to the Elemental accounts, they need to have usernames and passwords. The username is unique to each user. Here you can assign users to particular groups based on job function or assign them to accounts. You can also create new user groups and define access permissions based on user and group privileges. The next icon, Edit Email Settings, allows you to edit the settings on the email fetcher. The email fetcher is responsible for storing email messages sent by your customers to your support email box in your Elemental account. All you need to do is edit your email server address, your support email address, and a few other simple details, and you're all set. You're minutes away from having your support email address linked with your Elemental Help Desk account. The spam filter settings enables you to set the rules and actions of the email fetcher when it encounters spam mail. Based on these rules, the email fetcher will automatically delete spam email that is sent to your support mailbox. Going back to the control panel, the next icon is Edit Customer List. Here is a list of all your customers. You can add new customers to the list by clicking Add New and entering the customer's information. Clicking on a customer allows you to delete them or edit their information. The next icon, Edit Support Form, allows you to edit and customize your support form. Help Desk allows your customers and team members 
to submit issues directly from your website. The support form is the form that your customers will use to submit tickets. The first heading that appears on the screen is Edit Support Form. You can customize your support form by dragging the field from the left to the right and clicking Update. You can preview the form by clicking the Preview button. When you click on the Update button, Help Desk will create an HTML code that you should copy and paste to your support page on your website. This code will present a support form and will be used to submit support tickets to your Elementool account directly from your website. Below that is the Edit Auto Reply heading. You can create customized automatic responses to customers after they've placed a ticket. For example, Thank you for submitting a ticket. A representative will contact you shortly. Help Desk includes a web link in the Auto Reply email that allows your clients to view the status and correspondence history by clicking on it. The last heading on the screen is the Knowledge Base Code. Here you're provided with the HTML code for the Knowledge Base box that is placed on your website. A Knowledge Base is a search box on your website that allows customers and team members to search your Help Desk account for frequently asked questions for issues and their solutions. When you sign in your account, you see the welcome screen where your automated dashboard is displayed. You can customize this to your liking. Clicking the Edit button on the dashboard box allows you to filter and customize the item based on your preferences. If you have several Elemental accounts, you can set up your dashboard to display your entire workflow. For example, you can display all your open issues, all the high priority tasks, and so on. The welcome page is fully customizable and enables you to add new items, change the location on the screen using drag and drop, and have an easy access to your quick reports. More on quick reports later. Notice how the top of the screen displays the account name that you are logged into currently. You can switch accounts by clicking on the drop down menu and choosing the account of your preference. On top of the left hand side of the screen below the Elemental logo is a display that shows the current online users who are using the account. If you drag your mouse over the display, it will show you the actual users. Clicking the display will enable you to instant message online users in a chat room setting. Creating an issue is as simple as pie. Click on the New Issue tab and simply fill out the field. It can't get any easier. As you can see, you can set the status, priority, frequency, and severity of the issue. In the same area, you can assign users to the issue. These features are extremely important in keeping things organized, so issues don't fall through the cracks. Below is the Remarks field. Here you can write comments regarding the issue. All comments in the Remarks field are displayed in the Remarks message board. The History trail preserves a complete audit trail of all the changes that have been made in the different fields. In the same section is the Linked Issues and Attach Files button. The File Attachment feature enables you to attach HTML, PDF, Word, Excel, and other file types to an issue by clicking the Attach button and uploading the file. This is useful because users will have direct access to files that are related to the issue, as opposed to wasting time looking for the files in the company server. Issue tracking is part of a suite of applications that are seamlessly integrated. The Linked Issue option allows you to link issues between the different Elemental applications. To do this, Scroll to the Linked Issues field near the Remarks section and choose the account name and application from the drop-down field that you want the current issue to be linked with. Then type the issue number in the text box. Your issues are now linked. The Issue form enables you to assign the issue to a user by selecting the user from the Assign To list. Checking the email or mobile phone checkbox will send a notification with the issue details to the assigned user's email or cell phone. Each issue has a unique issue number that is assigned by the system when you submit a new issue. You can later use this number to reference this specific issue. If you know which issue you would like to view in particular, type in the issue number in the View Issue Number box located on the top, or click on the View Issue tab and type the issue number there. You can also view issues by running a report and opening the issues on the report itself. When you view an issue, Help Desk displays the correspondence history related to it. You can see all the emails that were sent back and forth between your client and your support team. To reply to a client's support request using Help Desk, 
you should open the message that was sent by the client by clicking on the message title. Then click on the reply button and use the reply form to send out your response. By using the reply form, the email that you send will be added to the issue's correspondence history. It's very important that the interaction is done using Help Desk in order to keep the communication trail in your Elemental account. To run reports, simply click on the Issue Report tab. You can customize the issue report by title, description, status, severity, assigned to, and much more. You can also customize the fields that appear in the report by clicking the Customize Report. The Customize Report option enables you to select the columns that are displayed on the report, the report's sorting order, and the query filters. Next to the Customize Report tab is the View Type tab. There are several view types, Normal, which displays the report on the page, Excel, so you can export the report to Excel, and Dynamic, to perform bulk field changes to the issues on the report itself. So you don't need to update the issues one by one. Choosing the print view displays the report in a printer-friendly fashion. If you frequently run the same report, you should add it to your quick reports. This feature allows you to run reports based on predefined criteria rather than customizing it each time. It's very simple to set up. Click on the Add Report list and select the accounts and query fields you want to display in the report. Customize the report based on your preferences and click Step 3. Select the report fields, such as the field list and report columns, and go to step 4. Lastly, name your quick report and click Save. Once you set up your quick reports, you can send the report results to people by email. As you can see, Help Desk is very easy to use. So easy, even your grandma can do it. We work closely with our clients and are open to ideas and suggestions regarding enhancements and new features. If you have any questions, suggestions, or requests, please don't hesitate to contact our support at support at elemental.com.